Hello, I'm Data, and today I have for you an upgrade to the Almost Hopper Speed Multi-Item Sorter, also known as the MIS version 4. In case you weren't already aware, the Multi-Item Sorter version 4 was a collaboration among myself, MetaMilo, Repscallion, and Rifter Labs, all of whom will be linked in the description below. This is the second of two upgrades to the original version 4.0, the first of which is available on Rapscallion's channel. In short summary, where version 4 is compact and version 4.1 is lag optimized, version 4.2 is both, but at the expense of costing a few more resources. So let's have a look. Version 4.2, like its predecessors, is two wide AV tileable. Like version 4.0, it is seven by seven at the cross section. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each slice or tile in total is seven by seven by two. Like version 4.1, uh, the every single redstone dust here will only ever change by a single signal strength. And this reduces uh, heavily on the amount of block updates that each redstone dust will actually end up producing. And this is because the primary comparators that change the redstone dust signal strength, so this comparator here and this comparator here, they are both in subtract mode. Um, the side effect of the 7x7 seven seven size and the, and the subtract mode on the comparators is the addition of three signal strength stabilization points and two signal strength correction points. And the, they are as follows. So we have one signal strength stabilization line in the back here, there is another signal strength stabilization point down here. Uh, this composter here uh, stabilizes this redstone dust to signal strength 4. And the last signal strength stabilization point are these two bottom redstone dust here. Now, these two bottom redstone dust are stabilizing this comparator here to always emit signal strength 2. This comparator, in fact, is the signal strength correction point. So, uh, this comparator right here, so this one that I just marked with the yellow concrete, uh, this comparator is actually receiving signal strength that is too higher, uh, too higher than necessary. So over here, it is getting signal strength four, and if it just sent that signal strength through, you would have four than three, but you want the signal strength here to be one. So we correct that signal strength with signal strength two here. This comparator does the exact same thing as the comparator ahead of it. It simply corrects the signal strength for this comparator over here. Uh, up at the front here, these, uh, these filter hoppers have been significantly reduced in the number of filter items they need. Uh, previously, they needed 64, 48, 1, 1, I believe. But now, uh, as you can see, they can work with 19, 1, 1, 1 instead. If you want a quick refresher on how to assign items to a slice, uh, all you have to do is open up the category chest or the overhead filter as it's known, uh, take out one of your blocker items and replace it with two of your desired items. So now we have just assigned slice one to also sort for redstone comparators. So this slice here is sort of our redstone slice. We have torches, redstone dust, repeaters, and comparators. The other uh, slice here I've dedicated towards uh, just the general stone type, so stone, andesite, diorite, and granite. So now uh, let's clear this mushroom brown mushroom blocker from my inventory. Let's uh, put the slice in action. This here is the exact chest that we're putting in. I'm going to copy the NBT data and I am just going to place that chest on top of there. And we should start to see it sorting. There we go. So that first observer line is the indication that it's starting to sort. So those are our redstone torches. They're coming down here. That's great. Now, while this is sorting, I want to clear up a little bit of confusion related to the term item defragmenter. So we originally used the term item defragmenter to refer to this light blue circuit over here on the left-hand side. But that, uh, that use of the term was a little bit of a misnomer. What this light blue circuit is, is a self-resetting variable sorter. Uh, very similar to the self-resetting variable sorter I showed maybe six weeks ago in my shulker box splitter. And although self-resetting variable sorters can perform the function of item defragmentation in the method that we are using it here on the multi-item sorter, we're really not 
using the item defragmentation function because we are just sending items in through serially as opposed to sending them in in large, large parallel batches uh, that would be done in a Schulkerbach splitter. Uh, so really, the only function of the self-resetting variable sorter that we are using is the item gate. So all we're doing is introducing a time delay uh, between uh, the arrival of new uh, new item types. This specific item gate was designed by myself and MetaMilo to have a very long transition delay. And we found this was just a little bit more reliable for people playing on, uh, on paper servers. However, if uh, you are playing on a vanilla, vanilla Java server or playing on a Fabric server, then uh, you can probably speed up the, uh, the item gate. So we have item gates that go up to fast, I believe, as uh, four game take transition delays or uh, two redstone take transition delays. Here, I think um, it is something in like three seconds of transition delay. So you can get a lot of variance there and you can find a, a item gate that works well for you. So before I forget, I just want to show off that, uh, yes, indeed, like we should look at the product of our sorting. So uh, in slice one, as we expect, we have 16 redstone torches and 16 comparators. In slice two, we have 16 andesite and 16 diorite, as expected. And in overflow, we have 16 golden carrots and a single cake, as expected. I have expanded the slices apart from each other here. That should hopefully make it a little bit easier to see. I've also added a lot of signs that will hopefully give some valuable information as to how to sort of construct the slice. So for example, these signs will tell you what signal strengths should be in the barrels and how many cakes or stacks of items, uh, if you prefer, it takes to achieve that signal strength. It tells you how many cakes or what the fill level of the composters needs to be. So for example, this composter here needs to be at signal strength four, which corresponds to four cakes or four pumpkin pie. And the best way to check the fill level of a composter if you don't have it in uh, your texture pack is to press F3 and to look towards your, the right hand side of your screen where it says under targeted block you look at level four, which means the block state of the composter is at fill level four, which means the comparator will be outputting fill level four. And some more information that these signs tell you is how the two slices interplay with one another and how they tessellate. So I've included uh, these detector rails here to indicate that something on the right hand slice will uh, visually connect to something on the left hand slice. So for example, these two redstone dusts are in the actual slice connected up to each other, which is why they are both pointing in to one another. And this redstone dust here will actually connect to the tripwire right there, which is why there's a, a detector that rail representing that. So you can see that in the, uh, in the tiled slices right here. This comparator here will actually receive its power from the following slice, meaning the slice ahead of the uh, current slice. At the end of your of the section of of slices for the multi-item sorter, you need to have an extra barrel to uh, provide power for uh, for this comparator. And the uh, inverse is true for these comparators. These comparators will receive power from the previous slice which means that on the very first uh, on the very first comparator in a section you will need to have a, an, an extra barrel uh, tagging on at the end and you can see that tagging on the those tagged on barrels here so this is the tagged on barrel at the end of the section this is the tagged on barrel at the start of the section and if you'd also like to see the item gate in isolation uh, i have included it right here also signposted with uh, how to set up the uh, filter hopper. So filter hopper is 19111, um, as all of the other self-resetting variable sorters. Now, if you'd like to know the inner workings of the slice and how the slice actually functions and what the timings are, uh, I encourage you to uh, take a look at the unlisted video that will be linked in the description below, which will basically just uh, be me describing this planar diagram of the, of the multi-item sorter version 4.2.
Now, before I do go, I would like to share with you a little something something that I think is pretty cool. With signal strength stabilization, you can create minimum values and maximum values for your comparator lines. And uh, I've just set it, have a small little setup here. Even though uh, these levers here are my input, even though I'm not sending in any sort of signal strength into this uh, into this uh, redstone line here, I'm still getting a signal strength of five. And why is that? It's because my minimum value is five. And if I do eight, then we're going to get eight redstone lamps. If I do two, well, you get the picture. We're going to get two redstone lamps. And I think probably one of the other interesting things that you can do is not only can you set a floor on this on this redstone line, you can set a ceiling by setting a maximum value. So right now I have the maximum value set at 10. Uh, so what that means is even though I'm sending in signal strength 15 right here, if you look on the right hand side of your screen, uh, only 10 lamps will light up, not these last five here. And I think that this is pretty useful. It gives you a lot more fine control over uh, the comparator lines in your redstone circuits and what comparator signals that you can send in. And sometimes you just really need this for signal strength correction. Um, but I would the the challenge that I want to issue is I would uh, if you take a look at the comparator setup that I have right here, I would like uh, for you to describe to me what what happens when I change the signal strength in in uh, this comparator right here? So here's another little quick look at the comparator setup. And uh, please share with me your thoughts and ideas. Uh, you can send them to me on Discord or you can share them in the YouTube comments below. And with that, I think that wraps up my video on the second upgrade to version four of the almost hopper speed multi-item sorter. Just in this little uh, ending here, I just want to apologize for all the uhs and ums that you probably heard uh, in this video. It is way too late for me to be recording. It's much past my bedtime. But I, I really just wanted to, uh, to get this out because I have been getting a whole bunch of support lately uh, just on the channel and uh, just in general. And I'm very grateful for that and i know i tend to say that a lot but i will and truly am thankful for uh the small little community that's been building up here recently passed 314 subscribers i wanted to do something for that but it uh it passed by a little bit too quickly for me <laughs> uh, passed by a little bit too quickly for me to catch it so um that's not a bad that's not a bad problem to have i guess uh, all i'm trying to say is uh thank you for having bearing with me i know the uploads have really slowed down lately but I'm going to try and uh, get out uh, some some sort of like smaller videos that take uh, a little less time to produce, if that's all right, because, uh, you know, not everything I not everything I make uh, requires like a 20 minute explanation. But I'm pretty sure the amount of footage I've recorded for this is hitting about 20 minutes. So <laughs> we'll we'll see what happens. No tutorial for this, but as always, the world download is available in my discord server that is going to be linked below. If you do build the system and plan on debugging it, you can debug it in my Discord server, but I highly recommend that you also join MetaMilo's Discord server. There's a whole bunch of specialists out there with these multi-item sorters that can uh, help you at basically any time of the day uh, beyond me when uh, it's already past my bedtime. So <laughs> join the dedicated storage tech Discord. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm fairly active in there as well. and. Uh, I think it's going to be really beneficial for uh, the storage tech community to be able to share and collaborate there. And if you're interested in storage tech, it's a it's a great place to learn. I think uh, I've hit the end here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's uh, it's really been a pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.